Hello, today we're going to take a look at nuclear equations and what they mean. So the first thing is that nuclear equations, they show radioactive decay, or they show how radioactive decay happens. And we've looked at radioactive decay in the previous video, you might want to watch that one again if you're not sure, but we can actually just briefly mention what we mean by this. Radioactive decay is when we have uh, an unstable nucleus, an unstable nucleus, and it becomes stable by emitting radiation. So we go from an unstable nucleus to a stable one, and it, it emits one of several kinds of radiation. So the first one was alpha, the second was beta, another one was gamma, and in fact, not on this diagram, but we also had the emission of neutrons from the nucleus as well, which allowed the nucleus to become stable. So in terms of the first one, we've got our alpha particle, and we looked at a couple of details of that, but let's just remind ourselves. An alpha particle is made of two protons and two neutrons. Two protons and two neutrons. Now, overall, you'll remember that that will give it a positive charge, but you also might remember that two protons and two neutrons is the same as a helium nucleus. So we have a plus two charge, and it's the same as a helium nucleus. We write an alpha particle like this, or we, or we can abbreviate an alpha particle like this. The number at the top is the atomic mass of that particle, and the number at the bottom is the atomic number. And remember, the atomic number tells us the number of protons in the nucleus. So there is our alpha particle. Our next one is our beta particle. This is our beta particle, and you remember, may remember that that comes from a neutron changing into a proton and an electron. But the way we show a beta particle, just remind ourselves that it's an electron, the way we show a beta particle is a symbol like this. It has an atomic mass of pretty much zero, and we put a minus one for the number at the bottom, and we'll see why that is in a moment. Okay, now in terms of our gamma ray, our gamma wave, this is not actually a particle, this is electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation. You may have learnt about this when you have done electromagnetic waves or the electromagnetic spectrum, but if not, we will be doing that in a future video. We're going to concentrate or focus on these two here, the beta particle and the alpha particle, and how that changes the nucleus and how that changes the element that you have after radioactive decay by one of these two particles. Okay, so let's take a look at a uh, first example. So when we have alpha decay, so just make a note, nuclear equations, this is to do with changes in the nucleus, or in the nuclei, that's plural for nucleus. So nuclear equations, changes in the nuclei. In terms of alpha, when we have alpha, an alpha particle emitted, we lose two protons and two neutrons from the nucleus. That means the nucleus has now changed, and we need to be able to describe exactly how it's changed. We know that the atomic mass would have reduced by four. So the atomic mass is atomic mass minus four. And the atomic number, that's the number of protons, but we've lost two protons, so that would be minus two. Remember, the atomic number is the number of protons. So we lose two protons as part of alpha decay. Now we could take a look to see what it looks like in a nuclear equation. So we've got radon, which is being broken down into polonium and an alpha particle. Okay, so we have a mass, atomic mass of 219 and an atomic number of 86. We lose our alpha particle. So the question is, what's the atomic mass of polonium and the atomic number for polonium? Well, we know the atomic mass, we just subtract 4. So that would give us an answer of 215 for the atomic mass. And the atomic number, we minus 2. So 86 minus 2 gives us 84. So those are the two numbers, two new numbers. We can tidy that up. 215 and 84 for polonium. And because we've got a different proton number, remember we've got a completely different element. That's why we have radon changing into polonium. Right, with our beta decay, now remember that a neutron changes into a proton and an electron. The electron is ejected from the nucleus as our beta particle. But let's imagine we had in this nucleus, 10 protons and 10 neutrons. That gives us a mass number of 20, if we add those together. But we know a neutron changes into a proton during beta decay, so that will give us 11 protons and now 9 neutrons, but the mass number is still 20. So when we have beta decay, 
there is no change in the atomic mass. The atomic mass stays the same. There's no change. So that's quite easy to do. In terms of our atomic number, well, 11 protons is the new number because we've changed a neutron into a proton. So for the atomic number, we add one to show the addition of one proton. But the atomic mass, remember, there's no change. So there's our alpha decay or alpha particle. This is our beta particle. So let's have a look at an equation. We've got carbon decaying into nitrogen by beta decay, as shown by the beta particle on the right-hand side. We know the atomic mass during beta particle uh, radiation, there's no change in the atomic mass, so we just keep that as 14. The atomic number is simply a case of adding one because we've got one more proton. So there's the information for that decay. It's worth noting that also when we have gamma radiation given off, there's going to be no change in the atomic mass or in the atomic number because we're not losing any particles from the nucleus, so there's no change in those two key features of atoms. So let's very quickly make a note of the changes. For alpha, it's atomic mass minus 4, atomic number minus 2, and for beta, it's atomic mass number no change, and atomic number, we add 1. Just very quickly to recap, we can use this in some practice equations. Okay, so for the first one, you can pause here. If not, let's do it together. We've got to figure out the atomic mass and atomic number for thorium, TH there, and we know it's alpha decay because there's our alpha particle at the end. So we should remember that for the mass number, we subtract 4, so it becomes, minor, uh, becomes 2, 3, 4. And to work out the atomic number, it's minus 2, because we have 2 less protons, so that just becomes 90. So that's the answer for our TH, which is, that, which is thorium. For the next two, here we can pause here and have a go at those two yourself. I've forgotten the arrow in the last one, but I'll put that in in a minute. But if not, we can do it together. So number two, we've got beta decay. Remember, there's no change in the atomic mass, so it stays as 212. The atomic number, that's the number of protons. We add one, so that becomes 84. It goes from 83 to 84. And for the last one, let's just add in the arrow. There we go. Now, we haven't been given what kind of decay it is, but actually we can work it out because we can see that the atomic number for PB, which is lead, has gone from 82 to 83. That's plus 1, and that happens when we have beta decay. So the second, the third example is beta decay, so we can add in our beta particle there, E with a 0 and a minus 1, and we know that for the mass number there's no change, so that becomes 209. Okay, so there's a bunch of answers for showing uh, nuclear equations and what the changes are in the nuclei when we have decay by alpha and beta radiation. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.